Hi guys, this is Glennis again. Um, we've had a little look at WP Snowball, but um, I thought maybe we should take the opportunity to also have a look, quick look at uh, WP Indexer, put out by the same guys that have done WP Snowball. The purpose of WP Indexer is obviously to get your posts um, indexed, but it does a lot more than that. It also uh, gets your tags indexed and your categories and your authors and all the rest of it. So this is what it looks like. Um, this I put this uh, WP indexer on this blog yesterday. So it's sort of churning through doing its thing really. It's got a nice little graph here that tells you um, what's happening and um, what it's checked and what's been indexed and so on and so forth. And it also tells you the activity that is happening today. And I'm just going to refresh this page because I've probably had this open for um, an hour or so while I've been doing other things. So I'll just refresh it and let's see if we've got any more posts indexed. Check a look, check a look. So there's another nine that have been indexed. There's a lot of posts on this blog. This is one that's um, basically an auto blog and it's sort of been pulling in content for, well, I don't know, probably um, eight or nine months, just slowly, but, um, you know, it's, it sure adds up in a, in a hurry. <laughs> um, so that's that one and I've got another couple here that you can just have a quick look at the WP indexer back end. You'll see this has been a, a bit busier uh, with these, the pings and the linking and the tags and so on and so forth. Now I have only had this plugin for about a week or so and I'm not saying that none of the pages and posts were indexed when it started because um, obviously quite a lot were but it has increased that substantially and this one is a relatively new blog and it is posting every day, so you know there's there's a few out there that are not indexed. And WP Indexer will ping and link and and you know send off um, links to the tags and what have you. So. Let's have a look at the settings page. Essentially, <laughs> when you install WP Indexer, there is one thing that you need to tick, and that's this box here, which basically switches it on. Uh, you can add relevant tags. It does all of this automatically. I'm actually going to change a few of these things. Let's put that up to three, and this up to five relevant tags. Homepage links is cool. RSS pinging, yes, we want that. And let's go to three for uh, the index check quality. If you have our proxies, you can add those here. Uh, I've taken out the ignore post types, I've taken out the slides, I just happen to know I don't have any. <laughs> so we save the settings. Uh, one of the other things you can do with the WP indexer is you can add links from other um, blogs that you have. They don't necessarily have to be on this on this site. 
So you can name it and then you can put the UL, URLs in here. So if you've got a great big list of URLs from different sites, then this is the place to do it and save those campaigns. And so that's what it's all about. Um, I hope that's of some help to you. I am really, really impressed by, uh, by this program. Really, really good. Hi guys, this is Glenis. I just want to do another one of these quick videos for you just to show you a few more things.